Hey everyone, this is Chris Crazy House, and I am back here on another Fan Art Friday. This is a segment that I like to do on my YouTube channel, where I like to draw characters from pop culture and comics, and I like to draw them out in my sketchbook. I will draw them in pencil, ink, and then I'll go over them with some alcohol markers. Uh, today is going to be a special episode, a very one that is near and dear to my heart, and that is me sitting here and drawing my own version of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And while I'm drawing here, obviously I'll be talking about all my nostalgia about Ninja Turtles here. So I hope you guys strap in. I hope you enjoy this one. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one, I know. It's been a long time since I've drawn Ninja Turtles, but we'll get into that when I start the video. Uh, if you are interested in any great content, like books or comic books or coloring books, please go to my online store or you can also go to the Amazon links that I have posted in the description box or in the comments section because there's lots of great content there, whether it be the Big Monty books, whether it be my own personal books like Naturally Cute or the Chris Crazy House Hyper Fun Coloring Book or if you want to go to my own online store and get any comic books like Knuckleheads or the Chronicles of PA, whether it be the comics or the graphic novel, you can go pick all that up in the links below. So, you know, please go do that if you just want it for yourself or you want it for any young people that you might have in your family as a great gift or just something to keep their minds occupied during the summertime. And uh, also, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and become a Patreon of Chris Crazy House. Lots of great content on there. I'm working on some mechs and stuff like that for those who are into designing their own games and whatnot. If you're into stuff like that, I'm going to be doing some designs for that over the summer. And that will probably be the big project for the summer, uh, designing a lot of stuff for mechs and mech animation that you folks will be able to pick up only exclusively on my Patreon. But it's also on the lower tier. Lots of great coloring content that you guys can pick up. If you want some original coloring pages, go ahead and download that stuff there. I also showcase a lot of the artwork that I work on on my YouTube channel early on my Patreon or just artwork from the past that maybe never got done or published. I, I remember posting some video game concept work that I did years ago on my Patreon that I think a lot of you folks will appreciate. Anyway, now that I got all my plugs out of the way, let's jump into drawing some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And like I said before, in this I'm going to be drawing them in my own way, in my own fashion. So. You know, if they don't look like your typical Ninja Turtles that you're used to, uh, just go along with it. I'm having fun, but you'll be easily able to recognize the characters as I'm drawing them, okay? So, while I'm drawing, I'll just talk about my own experience with Ninja Turtles. As a lot of kids were during the 80s, I was obsessed with Ninja Turtles. I would say Ninja Turtles is probably the last... That was the last big thing that I was obsessed with as a kid before I grew into a, a, a tween and a teenager, okay? Before I started getting into more, just listening into music and just reading comics, right? Ninja Turtles was like the last big thing. That was the last big toy line for me anyway of the 80s that I was into, okay? Obviously, I grew up with G.I. Joe, Transformers, Thundercats, He-Man, I had little bits of all those action figures, but uh, when Ninja Turtles came out, that was a very big thing. I mean, it's hard to explain to people because Ninja Turtles now has been around for decades, but it's hard to explain to people just how much hysteria was around Ninja Turtles back then. I mean, we were, all the kids back then were into it, okay? And it was the new thing. It was something that we all loved and appreciated. We, uh, I, that was probably the, the only toy line that I had the entire, like the first line of toys that they came out with, I had all the characters, okay? That was probably the only time I actually collected all the characters, because for the, a lot of the other ones, it was hard, because they kept coming up with new characters all the time, but uh, I think I remember watching that documentary about Ninja Turtles and how they, they weren't expecting the toy line to be as popular as it was, so they had a hard time getting out new ones and new characters at the time. So if you can get that, that whole original line and you have that, that's probably worth a lot of money now. I know a lot of mine are gone. 
I only have a few from like the second line of Ninja Turtles, but uh, for the most part, you know, having that whole collection just meant a lot to me. I even remember very specifically when I finally got the whole collection, I knew I was going to finish my collection that next day because my dad was going to take me to the toy store. I remember the day before very vividly because that was a summer like me and my dad, I was, oh, well, I was staying with my dad that summer and we were just, you know, staying up watching uh, movies and eating junk food and whatnot. So I was just like, I could barely go to sleep that night thinking about how I was going to complete my Ninja Turtle collection the next day. And I, I was very happy when I did so. <laughs> uh, I've dressed up like Ninja Turtles. I had a Ninja Turtle outfit. I had Ninja Turtle pajamas. I think I dressed up as Michelangelo for Halloween one time. So like I said, I was deep into it back then. And I, 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 I used to draw Ninja Turtles all the time. When I was a kid, that was a big thing for me. And that, that gave me a little bit of popularity in school because I was able to draw the Ninja Turtles. And, and the original drawings were actually pretty simple to do. You just basically had to change the, the color of the headbands and whatnot. So it wasn't that difficult to draw Ninja Turtles if you just had some Crayola markers or something like that or even some crayons. Very easy to, to put those together and make them. So uh, I just, like I said, and then when the movie came out. So the original cartoon series started in 87. And then the the movie came out in 1990, and that was a big deal too. I remember that theater being packed with kids and their you know uh, disgruntled parents <laughs> having to go see this movie, right? And I remember some of the parents being a little taken back by it because in the original 1990s Ninja Turtle movie they had profanity, uh, it was kind of violent. They actually used their weapons, so. For a lot of parents, they didn't like that movie. I loved it. I still love that movie. That's still my favorite Ninja Turtles movie of all time. I thought the practical effects they did, uh, the Henson uh, team that made those suits, did a great job, and great stunts, and it was probably the closest. It was it was more close to the Ninja Turtles comic than it was the cartoon. I think that's probably why parents were a little put off, and even some kids were a little confused by that. But it was more like the actual comic than the actual, you know, the, the, the Turtles cartoon that was out at the time, which was kind of hokey. I used to actually get frustrated with the Ninja Turtles cartoon after a while because I felt like it was too silly. Like they were, they, like they would get their asses kicked by these regular characters all the time and they wouldn't use their weapons except for like chop a machine or something like that. That's why I appreciated when they fought uh, the cyborg mousers and stuff like that because that, that was better than them trying to fight a human being because otherwise they just wouldn't use the weapons which made no sense whatsoever but I understand those were the standards for kids cartoons back then uh, but like I said the, the obsession with Ninja Turtles back then was just huge it was Ninja Turtle mania and if you live back then you know exactly what I'm talking about you know exactly what I'm talking about uh, like I said I've always loved Ninja Turtles I've kind of switched as far as which was my favorite character for a time, Raphael was my favorite character, but it seemed like everyone liked that character. So, I, you know, I'm one of those people. I don't want to jump on a, I don't want to feel like I'm on the bandwagon. So, you know, I would switch from time to time between Raphael and Michelangelo. Uh, for a while, I liked Leonardo too, but then like, uh, that was like my little brother's favorite character. Leonardo was his favorite character. So I kind of let him have that, you know, since that, that made him happy. I saw how his eyes would light up and he's pretending to be Leonardo. So let him have that. When we played Ninja Turtles, that's who he was always going to be, right? And uh, I had a lot of the Ninja Turtle video games. The best one of all time is still uh, Turtles in Time. I haven't played the new one, Shredder's Revenge. I'm going to have to check that one out. It looks very retro. I've seen the, the screenshots and the gameplay, obviously, but I haven't actually played it. So, you guys, if you play Shredder's Revenge, let me know how that one is. But Turtles in Time was probably my favorite one of all of them. That was, it was on the Super Nintendo and also an arcade game back when they had arcades. Uh, the only criticism I could ever give to Ninja Turtles, and I know they, they did the whole, they made them talk and sound like surfer dudes from California because that was popular in the 90s, the, the late 80s, early 90s. 
that whole saying dude and cowabunga and all that other nonsense. But it always frustrated me as a black kid that grew up on the East Coast that these turtles were living in the sewers of New York City and they talked like white boys from uh, the, the beaches in California. In my opinion, the Ninja Turtles should sound like the members of the Wu-Tang Clan. If they grew up in New York like that in the gutter in the sewer, they should be saying stuff like God and, and Son and everything else and talking like how we used to talk in the, the early 90s and not talking like some white boys from the uh, California. They should sound like, like Onyx or Wu-Tang Clan or something like that when they talk. You know what I mean? That, that, was, that, that was my only frustration with the Ninja Turtles. Even when I was a kid, I was like, that doesn't sound right. I was like, if they're from New York, why are they talking like that? That's not how we talk here on the East Coast. <laughs> so, you know, if, if, I think some people have done like little, like when they did the 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 N-word turtles, those parodies that you've seen on social media and on YouTube, that's probably a lot closer to how Ninja Turtles would probably talk if they actually were from New York. You know, not trying to stereotype uh, all my East Coast brothers because, you know, we're all not exactly alike, but we do have a certain lingo and a certain type of swag. And if you're going to have cool characters from that area, why not have them talk like that? That's why I'm drawing Michelangelo here with the NY hat. And it almost looks like he's wearing, a, uh, you know, the scarf tied around his head like the dude's doing the hood. So that's just how we roll there, right? So, you know, if you're a fan of Ninja Turtles and you've enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button for me please I would very much enjoy that and if you are not subscribed to this channel go ahead and sub to this channel and watch my other artwork videos and my drawing videos and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know next time I upload any content here and if you think anyone else will enjoy my trips down nostalgia lane when I'm drawing these popular characters go ahead and send them this link go share it on your social media and let them enjoy and reminisce about the nostalgia that I put out there and, and talk about Ninja Turtle mania that was going on back in the late 80s, early 90s. And have them remember it the same way I do. Anyway guys, this is Chris Crazy House signing out. Peace.